super sore. <sighs> Alrighty, welcome to day seven. We decided to start off with some spa because my legs are toast. Fingers crossed it's not as hilly as yesterday. My name is Brian Cox, but most people know me as the travel vlogger. I'm always in search of extraordinary experiences, and on this adventure, I'll be biking over 700 kilometers across the Czech Republic. Come with me to see what makes this destination so special. Dobre rano, and good morning. Today we're in Kubolka, and we have about 44 kilometers to ride all the way to Chesky Krumov. Yesterday was brutal, so we treated ourselves to the spa, and this morning I even said, hey, little mimosa, why not? So, we're gonna have this delicious breakfast, and then we're gonna head onto the road. See you there. Right now, great sunny weather, getting warm. Radek was right, the weather was perfect. The 10 kilometer ride to our first stop went by too fast. We just got to Chesky Budjavitska and right now we are at the Budweiser Budvar factory and museum. We're gonna be doing a quick tour around the museum to learn about the beer. It happens to be the second largest producer of beer in the Czech Republic and the number one largest in Southern Bohemia. So let's go learn a little bit of it. And if we're lucky, we're gonna to get to taste the beer. After we took a gander around the museum and tried a beer, it was time to get back on the road. We rode through Chesky Bujejovice and would keep following the Vltava River south in the direction of our endpoint, Chesky Krumlov. We were starting to get hungry for lunch, so we started looking for a place to stop. All right, we rode another 16 kilometers. It is a little warmer today, and we're currently in Zlata Karuna. We stopped to have lunch, freshen up a little bit, and we found this amazing place with this killer view. Just check it out. We ate a nice light lunch and got back on the road. We did not have much more to ride. Everything seemed to be going by so fast. We were almost halfway through our journey across the Czech Republic. Okay, we just rode about another 10 kilometers and right now we are in Chesky Krumlov, which is probably the second most popular place to visit in the Czech Republic. Why? Because it is this beautiful historic town. We're gonna see it in a little bit, but first we gotta check into the Hotel Bellevue, get washed up, and then we're gonna go wander around. So come on. All right, we got showered up. Let's go wander around the town and get something to eat. Just a quick walk around the medieval town and you will soon realize why it is so popular. Beautiful cobblestone roads, a stunning castle, and even a river that wraps around the town like a large horseshoe. It was starting to get dark, so we decided to get dinner. Okay, we just got seated at Two Mary's Pub, which is famous for two reasons. Number one, they've got this amazing location that's on the river next to the castle. You just gotta see it to believe it. And the second reason is the Old Bohemian Feast. I wonder what that is. It really is a feast. A gigantic plate came out with all kinds of traditional Old Czech cuisine. That was a delicious meal. Unfortunately, we're gonna end today's vlog here. I'm exhausted. We got to 
rest up and get ready for tomorrow. So if you have any questions about today's journey, of course, leave them in the comment box below. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. Until next time, see you later. On day eight, we leave Chesky Krumlov, meet up with a new cycler, Ahoy! see remnants of the Iron Curtain, and ride through Czech Canada. To see tons of great photos from the journey, or to post your own shots, be sure to check out these hashtags on Instagram. Don't leave yet. There's tons of great videos to keep watching. More importantly, did you subscribe yet?